In this video, we're going to go over basic file input and output in Python. So we'll first start with just a basic example with a text file, and then we'll go over using the JSON library and interacting with JSON files as well in Python. First things first, to open a file, we can use the open function. So I'll do test file equals open, and then pass in the path to the file. In this case, I'll do test underscore file.txt. And I have this test file txt right here, which is two lines in it. Now that I have the file open, I can go ahead and print the contents. So I'll do print and do test file, which is this variable right here as created, dot read to read out the lines of the file. And then finally, when you're done with the file, you need to do test file.close. Um, and that's very important to make sure you remember to close the file whenever you're done with it. We'll save that. We'll come back here and we will run on three, uh, it's called tutorial py. And there we go. We get line one and line two. Now let's say we want to go ahead and overwrite this file with new uh, lines. We can do that by doing a test file dot write. And I'll write it with just test. Test one. Uh, we'll do a new line here and do test two. Now, if we run this right now, we will get an error. So let's go ahead and just give it a shot. And you see we get this unsupported operation not writable. And the reason for that is because in this open function, all we did was pass in the file path, nothing else. Um, there's various options you can pass in, and I have them all up here. Uh, this will be in the description if you wanted to read through them all. But we have like read only, read and binary only, reading and writing, um, you know, reading and writing and binary, writing, appending. Uh, writing will overwrite the file. Appending you can add to the end of the file if that's what you want to do. Um, in our case here, we're going to go ahead and just overwrite this file with these new lines. So we'll use this W plus option, which is opens it for both reading and writing. And so we can put this in our open function here right after the uh, file path. So I can put another set of quotes here and do W plus to open it for both reading and writing. Now we come back here and we, now we try this again. It then went through no errors. If we go ahead and look at our file here, we get test one and test two. So we did correctly overwrite the file. And of course, if we wanted to, we could just do the append. Um, so we can do A plus and then we can change this down here to test three. Save that. Come back here, run that. And then in our test file here, it says test three. Um, it didn't put a new line because I forgot to put a new line character, but it, um, it did add this new line to the file. And so that's how you can open and manipulate the file, add it to it, read it, write to it, whatever you want to do with these different options um, available to you uh, for this second argument here. Now, this all works great. Uh, there are some issues using this closed and open syntax like this. If there was an error, this may not run and you may not close the file. If you forget to, you may have issues there. So there is a better way that will automatically close the file for us using this, what's called this with open syntax. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out for now. And I'll do a with open as, and then a variable name, in this case, F. So what we're doing here is we're doing the same open line here. So I can go ahead and just copy this in. It goes right here. And then we have a variable name for the file. And now everything inside this with block, uh, we can access the file using this variable name. So I could just take this line right here, copy that and paste it right here. And this is the exact same thing as this line right here, just put inside this with block that will automatically close it for us. And then here we can do the exact same thing. So I can go ahead and just do a print testfile.read, for example, to read the file. And I'll go ahead and just remove this argument because we don't need it for just a read. And then you come back here, we can run that. And we get our three lines showing up there. So this works the exact same way. We just don't need to have this file that close here at the end now. And then of course, we could pass in any sort of argument here that we want. So we can do an A plus again, and I'll just add in um, file dot right and i can do something like um i'll do a new line character and then tests four and then we'll save that uh, we don't need to print it though let's go ahead and remove this print line here save that come back here run that 
and then check our file and we have test four now added as well uh, so we can do the exact same thing here uh, just within this with open and this is a lot better of a syntax to use um, if you wanted to use this you should probably put it in a try finally block just to catch any errors so this always runs uh, inside the finally block uh, i'm not gonna go through that here because this is much more concise and a little easier to write and also closes our our file for us automatically so we don't need to worry about that in this case now that works great let's go ahead and go over how to uh, rename or remove files so to use this we can use our os package here we can import so i'll go ahead and just come out this with open for now just so we don't have to run again um, and i'm gonna go ahead and create a new file over here on the left hand side here create a new file i'll save this as um another test.txt and we can put whatever we want in here it doesn't really matter save that come back here now let's say we want to go ahead and rename this file here to test2 or something i can go ahead and call os.rename and i can pass in the um, old file name first in this case another test.txt and then i put a comma and put in the new name test2.txt save that come here and run that it runs with no errors we come back here and check our file and now it's renamed to test2 we can also delete files i'll comment this line out we can also delete files here with os.remove and then all we need to do is pass in the file name in this case or the file path i should say but i only i'm only passing the name in inside these examples because the file is in the same directory um, but you may need to pass the full path in if it's in a different directory um, but i can pass in the file name in this case to test2.txt save that come back here run that and then come back and now our test2 file is now gone so that is how you can rename and remove files with the os module we can import uh, with import os and that covers most of what you'll need to do with text files and some basic read write operations uh, but let's say you want to work on something a little more advanced with some json data or something uh, there is a json package available to you if you go ahead and just do a google search for it you can see it right here i'll put a link to this in the description um, but we have this import json package we can use right here and then we have these different functions dumps loads whatever else this allows us to either create a json or load it into python native objects and whatever else so we'll go ahead and go through some examples right now so i already have the json uh, module here imported i also have this test file.json over here just with a key value pair inside of that let's go ahead and load this in into a python variable here so once again we can use our with open syntax that we used before to load in a file so with open test file.json which is the name of this file over here as um, f i guess it doesn't really matter we could then create a variable json data equals json.load passing in our file name in this case f down here i can print out json data my terminal run that and we're getting an error i misspelled test file Got the T there. Let's save that and try that again. And we run that and we get test data. Now let's say we want to go ahead and take some data and write and overwrite this file with the new data. Um, up here I can do test data equals a Python dictionary. And I'll just do whatever else we're writing this, this to be whatever we want it to be. And now we can take a Python dictionary and pass it into a dump uh, function to then write this to a file. So if I were to go ahead and just comment all of this out, I can then come up here and I can write a new with open. With open. And once again, we can pass in our file name, test file.json. And then we can pass in our write argument because we need to be able to write the file. So we'll pass in a W to overwrite our file. And then once again, we'll do as f. And then we can do a json.dump. And then passing in our data, in this case, test data, which is our dictionary we want to go ahead and create our to create our JSON with. And then pass in our file name after that. F. In this case, save that. Come up here, run this, and then come back and look at our JSON file. 
and you see it now has our new data written into it. So we're able to combine the with open line that we did up here with our text file with this JSON library to then interact with these different JSON files in a very easy way. And now just a quick thing here, uh, you may see sometimes dump with an S on the end or load with an S on the end uh, in Python. If you want to write to a file, you want to use just dump or load. If you want to write to just a JSON string, you can use the dump with the S in the end um, to write it to a JSON string. So for example, if I wanted to print out this, I could do, um, well, first I'll comment these lines out. Uh, I can print out um, JSON dot uh, dump S and then pass in our test data. Save that, we'll come back here. And I will print it out into a JSON formatted string for us um, in Python. But in this case, since we're writing the files, we want to go ahead and remove the S and just do dump or load. Um, just, just in case you see those and you're a little confused on, on why we're using something a little differently, um, that is why, because we're writing to a file. But that is it for this video. I just want to go over some quick operations um, with just text files and then go to some more advanced things with JSON a little bit. Um, I can go in more details and more examples if it would be helpful um, on this JSON stuff, but hopefully this got you started with using with open and, and how to uh, interact with files in Python. I'll put all the code in the description below as well as links to the documentation. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.